The EU sought to present a united front against Russia on Monday, but there's one issue that's causing friction. The bloc is expected to propose a gradual ban on Russian oil on Tuesday, but Hungary says it won't agree to any measure that will endanger its oil and gas supply. The position is in stark contrast to Poland's, who wants to sanction both. We shouldn't support Gazprom Bank. We shouldn't support Russian economy. We are not obliged to follow Putin's decree, to follow Putin's law. Monday's emergency meeting aimed to prepare for a possible breakdown in Russian gas supply as the EU refuses to comply with Moscow's demands to pay for it in rubles. Russia's suggested payment method involves depositing euros or dollars in one Gazprom bank account, which would pass through the sanctioned Russian central bank and arrive in a second account in rubles. Paying in rubles through the conversion mechanism managed by the Russian public authorities and a second dedicated account in Gazprom Bank is a violation of the sanctions and cannot be accepted. Last week, Gazprom suspended gas supply to Poland and Bulgaria after they refused to pay in rubles. For now, the countries have alternative solutions. Poland is receiving liquefied natural gas originally from the US, while Bulgaria is receiving pipeline gas from Greece. However, EU officials fear Russia could stop supplies to other member states. To prepare, the bloc has three priorities. Upgrade its supply contingency plans, refill gas storage by the next heating season and diversify its energy supplies. Europe's level of storage is currently sitting above 32%.